Um, today, we will discuss incident scoring rule feature. Um, we will answer questions via Q&A feature through, throughout the webinar. And then we will stay on to continue answering questions after the webinar ends through the Q&A functions. So, uh, but first, who am I? Joined Palo Alto Networks in April 2021. With over 15 years of experience in IT and cybersecurity, also manage a cybersecurity team at a challenger bank in Turkey, focused mainly on infrastructure security architecture, building SOC teams, um, building SOC team from scratch, incident response, and EDR. To the agenda. Okay, during, uh, during this webinar, we will discuss incident scoring rule, um, feature details, sample use case, how to configure incident scoring rule, um, managing incident scoring rule, and some resources that managing and configuring incident recording rule after the webinar. Executive summary. The incident scoring rule is used to prioritize Cortex-XDR incident with a user-defined set of rules in order to handle the most significant ones first. But that way, you can manage and uh, use limited time of the incident responders more effectively, and you know you can reduce your response time to you know real incidents. Future details. Incident scoring rules. Um, the incident scoring, as mentioned previously, is designed to prioritize Cortex XDR incidents to enable you to um, prioritize incidents that are significant to be to need your organization. Um, the incident scoring rules option allows you to set custom rules that highlight the incident based on user defined score selected cortex xtr alert attributes and assets so when an alert is triggered cortex xtr matches the alert with each of the custom incident rules uh, you created okay so scoring rules can be based on um, host names ip addresses users active directory or other groups and also organization units in order to use Active Directory or Azure in the scoring rules, of course, you will need to configure uh, the Cloud Identity Engine and, of course, for the, for the pool domain information. Okay. Sample use case. So let's, let's assume you are a SOC manager and working in a financial institution that operates in a banking sector. With um, getting help from your risk management team, you defined your Active Directory servers, core banking servers, and human resource servers as critical assets, since those assets including confidential data. Also, you know that C-level accounts are a potential targets, and um, if you get alerts from those critical assets, you would like to prioritize alerts and get more attention to them. So with that way, you are able to spend your limited resources on critical assets, uh, critical assets alerts, rather than low priority assets. When you complete an investigation for um, potential targets, then you can start other high alerts, which are reported by Cortex XDR. Okay, how to configure incident scoring rules? Um, creation. There are two types of incident scoring rules, root rules and sub rules. When an alert is triggered, XTR compare, compares with each of the rules and calculates the final score with all matched rule scores. By default, a score is applied only to first alert that match uh, the defined rule and sub rule, but this can be, of course, configurable. When you create a new rule, um, a sub rule, um, the sub rule score is only applied to an alert if the top, top level rule was matched. Okay, 
So in this slide, we can see placement of the uh, root rule and sub rules. So let's examine the, the, the last, last, last rules, for example. So we defined our critical assets in featured host in, in case of we received an alert from the critical hosts. We would like to set the score 80. And if the Cortex STR generates malware alerts for these critical assets, uh, we would like to increase importancy and set the score 90. Okay. And final score, of course, will be 170 for, uh, for the particular alerts. So wildfire malware alerts, uh, wildfire malware alert scoring rule is a sub rule of the critical assets, uh, critical asset rule. And it can only be triggered when the root rule match. So let's, let's take another example. If we have a malware alert coming from um, critical assets XTR agents, not from the wildfire, the alert source will be XTR agent and the score will be 99 and final score will be 179. Okay, so To create this scoring rule, you need to navigate to uh, investigation, incident management, and scoring rules. There are two. There are two places to create new rules: adding scoring rule button, which is located right after uh, right of right side of the screen. This one, and and also new uh, also uh, add new sub rule with uh, right clicking one of the existing rule. Okay, sub rule. Add uh, score rule button. So when you click add scoring rule button, um, the create new scoring rule dialog will help you to create a rule set. Enter unique name for your rule into uh, rule name box and set a numeric value into score box that would, uh, would be using for calculation in case of uh, an alert matching. And select whether to create top level rule, uh, root or sub rule from the base rule from drop down list. So to name memory, score for 100, um, base rule, root. Maybe we can make a comment. So, um, and, and we need to mark whether to apply score on the first alert of incident. By default, a score is applied only to the first alert that match the defined rule and sub rule. Um, last but not least at this dialog, use the filter at the top of the table for the filter out based on, uh, based on your criteria. For example, you may choose to increase the, the uh, score of the exterior bias alerts. For this, choose exterior, exterior bias alert from the alert source column. And, and of course, fi finally, we need to, create, uh, to click Create button. So um, adding, adding sub rule. Adding a new sub rule is completely the same as the previous step. For adding a new sub rule, just right click one of the rule which you created before and select sub rule. Okay. Um, in the in, in incoming dialogue, you just need to complete the same step which were mentioned in the previous um, previous screen. So we need to give a name. We need to give us a score around ninety. You now, as you see, the, this is the base rule the comment number two. Okay. So similar step, right? I'm gonna click cancel. Okay, we talk about this, we talk about the adding scoring rule button. 
um, we talk about add new sub rule. And next slide is managing instant scoring rules. So when an alert matches, matches with your defined one or multiple scoring rules, Cortex XDI will calculate the score and update the incident uh, with calculated score. With that way, you will be able to prioritize your incident. To manage your incident, you need to navigate to you know, investigation and incident. The calculated score is located uh, to, uh, on the incident management page right at the corner. Let's go. Incident. Yes. Yes. This one, right off the corner, as you see, scores uh, 50. When we click here, you can able to reach manage incident, uh, manage incident score. In case of um, you would like to see which scoring rule matched with uh, which, ins which alert, you know, you just need to click score on the incident management page. This is the way, this is also the way. Uh, to set manual scoring rules. Okay. Summary. So, um, as we have discussed today, um, instant scoring is a powerful and robust feature of X Cortex XDR to manage and prioritize incidents. With user-defined custom rules, um, security incident investigation team can start any investigation from the most significant one for your organization. Um, remember, enabling cloud identity engine will give you the ability to integrate your on-premise Active Directory server or Azure to pull identity information for for use with instant scoring rules. Resources. This page is about the resources which will be shared after the webinar. So um, including incident scoring rule and cloud identity engine. Um, early, early available program. The the Cortex XDR product management team is pleased to announce the launch of, uh, of our uh, early availability program. Participants will be given access to full version of upcoming Cortex XDR releases, including new features, UI enhancements, Cortex XDR agent updates, etc. So if you would like to be part of the EA program, you just need to fill a form which will be Share it after the call via email. Um, PCDRA certification. It's the last, sli uh, last slide is the PCDRA certification. We will launch our first Cortex XDR certification. So PCDRA certification, which can be found on the beacon. So we we recommend uh, we recommend taking this certification if you would like to be certified XDR experts. Thank you, thank you very much for attending this um, webinar. So don't forget to give us your feedbacks, so we can improve your experiences for the future webinars. A recording of this webinar will be emailed to you after this session. And you can also find on the live community XDR technologies page, along with other recorded webinars, videos, and um, Cortex XDR resources. Questions? Um, before we officially wrap, wrap up, we would love to answer any questions you have. So if you have any questions, please send them to the Q&A widget and we'll be here for a while to answer them. Good luck.